It's Ryan Ham here, and just a short video. I'm going to explain how the Adams Arm Piston System works. And I've got a, a gas block. This is uninstalled. I've got several. I just have uh, not found a host to put this uh, this system on yet. And essentially, it's just replacing your gas block. And what it replaces it with is this thing you hear, and you can see that little hole down in there. That hole lines up with the barrel, and that is where the gas comes from the barrel. It goes straight up into this chamber and through that hole there. And once it goes through that hole there, it goes into a sealed gas system. And by that I mean this here. It goes up and out through that little hole. And it fills this chamber here which is just basically the front end of the drive rod here and uh, when it fills that it drives the rod back the drive the rod travels one half an inch that that is as far as it travels and then it stops against uh, this little piece here which is against the barrel nut and when it stops all of the excess gas and excess pressure the only place for it to go is through that hole back down into the bore. And there are no other little tricks. There is no other way for the gas to get out. It is one half inch of travel. Now there can be leaks around this because it is not perfectly fitting. I and mean, it can wiggle it just a little bit. But it's actually pretty tight. So tight in fact that it, it creates a vacuum when I put my thumb over the hole and it's really difficult to pull when I do that. You know, if I don't have my thumb over the hole, it's uh, there's no vacuum seal. So a little bit of gas leaks out from it, but otherwise it is a closed gas system, kind of analogous to the M1 carbine. So if you want a suppressed gun that you can shoot that will not leak gas or vent gas and make a loud pop, this is a great way to go. So Ryan Ham, if you enjoyed this video, please like. Subscribe, favorite, whatever you want to do. If you disagree with me, well, sorry. <laughs> Bye.